It was called a basketball friendship match. With friends like these, who needs enemies? <laughs> Georgetown University playing in China last night. Yeah, not exactly anything friendly about the way the game suddenly ended. Here's Celia Hatton. It was meant to generate goodwill. But this Beijing basketball game between the Georgetown Hoyas and China's professional Baiyi squad disintegrated into a boxing match. It's still unclear what led to the fourth quarter brawl, which emptied both teams' benches and led some players to throw chairs and punches before the Hoyas left the court. Chinese fans pelted the Americans with water bottles. No physical injuries have been reported, but the diplomatic fallout could be embarrassing. Vice President Joe Biden is visiting China, even attending a different Hoyas game earlier this week. And this exhibition tournament was designed to enhance bilateral ties. Perhaps it wasn't the best idea to schedule a friendly game with China's Ba Yi team, the official basketball squad of China's People's Liberation Army. Ba Yi players are known for their aggressive tactics. There's even a saying among Chinese sports fans, when Ba Yi plays to win, they fight to win. The Chinese Basketball Association has been known for fighting before. Last October, Chinese players and coaches were fined $45,000 for beating up Brazil's national team. But Chinese basketball fans could be the ones to pay the price for Thursday's brawl. The Hoyas and Bayi are scheduled to meet again on Sunday, although that game might be cancelled. Celia Hatton, CBS News, Beijing. Well, Big East basketball, it's kind of tough too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, note to self when I engage in a friendly game, don't do it with players from the, from the Army.